Check two, one, two, one, two. Today, we take on the food preserving work, perhaps North America's most widely abundant wild edibles. That's right, we're going to pickle ourselves some cattails. No, not the feline, but none other than Typha latifolia. However, before we hit the kitchen, our culinary experience will begin by our local wetlands, where we find cattail growing at the perfect stage to be harvested. After plucking the young plant from the base, we clean the outer leaves by cutting them to length and removing the outer greens, exposing the white tender insides. Once enough has been collected to fill all 12 of our pint-sized mason jars, we head back home to finish cleaning and cutting to jar length. Although there are many great pickling salt recipes, in this batch we'll just use a prepackaged salt, in this case, Mrs. Wages Dill Pickles. Following the instructions on the package, I add both the water and vinegar to a pot and bring to a slow boil. The seasoned salt is added and the mixture is allowed to boil just long enough for it to fully dissolve, and then it's removed from the heat. In the meantime, the mason jars and lids are washed and then sterilized by means of a boiling bath. The hot jars are carefully removed from the bath and placed on a clean table where we begin to add the ingredients. I began by dropping a few cloves of garlic into the jar. Then I place a piece of stinging nettle or thimbleberry shoot into the side of the jar. Carefully, I slide in as many pieces of cattail as I can, topping it off with a few smaller chunks. Now that the jar is packed, I slowly pour in the hot salt brine, leaving a shallow headspace. Shaking and tapping, I try to remove as many air bubbles as possible. The jar rim is then wiped off with a clean towel, and the sterilized lids are placed on top. The ring is twisted on, only slightly snug. These jars are now ready to be boiled. After all the jars are placed in the pot, the water surface should only come about an inch above the jars. The pot is brought to a boil with lid on, and a timer set for 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, the pot is removed from the heat and let to sit for another 5 minutes. Using a proper tool, each jar is carefully removed from the hot water and set aside while they cool. After 24 hours, these pickles will be ready to eat. Be sure to write the date and type of pickle on the lids. This record will help remind you to enjoy them before too much time passes by. There you have it folks, cattail pickles. For homemade pickling salt recipes, check out the following links in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and as always, happy foraging! Rap's <laughs> hoodie.